the women's 400 meters final. Youssef of Nigeria drawn on the inside. Richards of Jamaica in two. Miles of the United States, the defending champion in three. Kathy Freeman of Australia in four. Pauline Davis of the Bahamas in five. Marie-José Perec of France in lane six. Marcel Malone, the United States in lane seven. And Falilat Ogunkoya of Nigeria in lane eight. Well, right on the inside. The former world junior champion, the former Commonwealth champion, Fatima Youssef, the Nigerian, injured in 1992, has now recovered top four. 50.56 in the semi-final. Sandy Richards, bronze medalist in the World Championships in Stuttgart and in the Commonwealth Games last year. Got a good draw in the second lane, 50.64 in the semi-final. My personal best a little quicker than that, as you can see. Gerald Miles, the defending champion. She's had indifferent form since winning the title in 1993. She seems to be back to her very best. Very, very strong finisher. Best of 49.82. Best this season of 50.39. Kathy Freeman, the Commonwealth champion at 200 meters and 400 meters, in form just at the right time. Big, big improver since 1992. Pauline Davis of the Bahamas, Olympic semi-finalist of 100 meters and 200 meters back in 1984. This is her first championship over 400 meters. She holds a national record of 50.05. Very, very talented. Marie-José Perec, the reigning Olympic champion, the world champion in 1991, went to 200 metres in 93, was fourth in that final, returned in the European Championships to 400 metres, won that title last year in Helsinki. Some evidence that she may have a slight injury. She pulled out of the 400 metre hurdles, has come here to try and regain a title that she won in 1991. Marcel Malone, world championship gold medalist in the 4x400 meter relay in Stuttgart in 1993. Another talented American. She's had a season's best in the semi-final. Palilat Ogunkoya of Nigeria former World Junior 200 meters champion. 50.85 in the semi-final. Two Nigerians in this final, but Marie-José Perec, a French woman, very much the focus of this race. But the challenge may well come from within, from lane four, Cathy Freeman, an Australian, who won two Commonwealth titles in Victoria last year. She has a real chance of taking this title. She really does. Pauline Davis won her semi-final and looked so very strong. Yusa, Richards, Miles, Freeman, Davis, Perec, Malone, Ogunkoya, the final of the women's 400 meters. Perec running well too, already up on Malone, the American. 
The big two names going well. Joe Miles inside, a little bit of work to do. Perek looks good towards 200 meters. So does Freeman. Right on the outside, Ogunkaya going well. But Freeman now has Perek in her sights, and Freeman has Pauline Davis. And Freeman running well. Perek and Freeman, these two, as they come into the straight. Pauline Davis running well in the center of the two, and now Perek. It's France versus Australia. And Perec, the 1991 champion, is coming away. And Freeman is fading, and Perec has done a brilliant run here. And Joel Miles in third place behind uh, Pauline Davis, 49.29. And that was a brilliant piece of running from Maria Jose Perec. The Olympic champion, the former world champion, is now world champion again. Davis gave absolutely everything. And really, when you look at this race, it may be that Kathy Freeman went off too fast over the first 200 meters. Uh, Sally Gunnell sitting with me here. Uh, Kathy Freeman gave absolutely everything, but I, my view is she went too fast. Yeah, she really bombed off that first almost 300. She was just flat out. And literally the last 50 meters, she just died. And also, Joel Miles, who went off too steady and did the opposite, just seemed to have too much left at the end. But Perec, she ran the perfect race, and that's what it was all about. Being steady, going off, you have to hit this first bend as hard as possible. Give yourself confidence. As we can see here, Kathy Freeman really pulling away already from Joel Miles. And Perec looking very, very relaxed. You've got to have deep breathing here. Relax your shoulders down the back. Try and switch off a little bit, concentrate as well at the same time. Well, certainly at this stage, uh, Kathy Freeman was uh, in control. She's already up on uh, Pauline Davis. Perec floating. It really was. Look at uh, Joel Miles was way down, but Miles has the reputation of having the strong finish. Miles third from the right of your shot. At this stage, Freeman looked in with a real chance, but she started to fold very shortly. Joel Miles on the inside started to come through. Perek was moving away all the time. She ran the perfect race, really. The rest could see her, but could do nothing about it. This is where Freeman fades. Pauline Davis wavering from side to side. And Joel Miles, did she get through? I think Davis got the silver and Miles the bronze. Well, that was some race, wasn't it? Let's look again, uh, Sally, at the head-on shot here and the contrast in styles. Yeah, I think in some ways Perec probably had the best, best lane for her. She went out there, she ran her own race, she had no one really to focus on on the outside that was doing anything, and she just ran her own race, looking very, very relaxed down this home straight. And I think uh, Pauline Davis had a wonderful race. I didn't, certainly didn't have her down for second. And there's Cathy, really tiring up. That's really starting to hurt the tension there. But Perec looking very smooth. Well that time of 49.28 we'll give you the full result in a moment is the fastest time in the world since 1992 and a young woman of whom it was said she was not at full fitness really showed us uh, that that was not the case correct 49.28 fastest time in the world since 1992 Pauline Davis of the Bahamas in her first championship at 400 meters 49.96 a new national record Joel Miles, the defending champion, took bronze, 50 seconds dead. 